So, hello guys, this is Redpoint speaking. I'm gonna start a tutorial about um, how to get better at um, first person shooters in general. You guys know um, we have started the competitive squads for Consortium and uh, we are doing training two times a week and this was um, this topic I wanted to cover in the first training uh, but it turned out to be a little bit uh, too difficult uh, so I'm gonna make a video about it for you um, to watch and to uh, try out for yourself so what do we need to get better at first-person shooters in general um, I, I'm gonna start at the, the groundwork that uh, every uh, first-person shooter needs and um, you get better by being consistent by being consistent um, in everything you do in a first-person shooter game and in Planetside, um, Planetside 2 that applies as well um, you have to aim in those games and you have to um, acquire your targets really quickly you need to know um, how far you have to move your mouse to to acquire a target very quickly and um, this is done by building up muscle memory it's an ability that uh, the brain develops um, in the connections to your muscles that you know exactly how far you have to move your mouse to um, acquire a target that is for example um, half a screen away and this is done by practice you just play a lot and by having consistent settings in Windows and in Planetside and there are several um, options that are there in Windows um, and in some first-person shooter games as well that will screw off your um, muscle memory and um, that is called mouse acceleration. What mouse acceleration does is um, it will look at how fast you move your hand, how fast the move mou uh, uh, the mouse moves over the mouse pad, and it will accelerate the mouse um, um, to go to go a further distance when you move the mouse faster. For example, when I'm, um, if I had mouse acceleration um, enabled and I move my mouse slow for 6 centimeters, it will travel to the next target. Yeah? So that's gonna be it, for example, um, yeah, let's do it for 180 degrees. I'm gonna do a 180 degree turn. For example, that could be six six centimeters on the mouse pad I have to move. Now, if I'm in a stressful situation and I want to turn around more quickly than, than I did before, then the mouse acceleration will um, accelerate this movement and make the mouse travel further. So, so, for example, I start here and I want to turn 180 degrees to face my enemy and we're gonna do it fast with, mou with mouse acceleration on it will travel me further the distance like I will almost do a 360 because I move my hand faster and it will accelerate it so it is absolutely vital to disable all mouse acceleration there is in Windows and in games um, because only this way you can train your muscle memory to know exactly how far you have to move your mouse to acquire a new target and I'm gonna show you this now actually it's quite simple how you disable mouse acceleration in Windows you click on the start button on the lower left corner you type in mouse I'm using a German version of Windows um, but you will find it here under um, the system properties um, you click on mouse and there it's gonna be a window properties of mouse 
with buttons, pointers, and pointer options. Pointer option is the one we're looking for. And you go, there's the mouse movement. And you're going to see a slider here. The slider has to be exactly in the middle between slow and fast. It has to be exactly on the sixth um, notch that you can uh, choose. Um, that is very um, uh, important. Um, it has a huge effect on how the mouse behaves. I'm not going to explain uh, what it exactly does because that's a little bit too difficult. But uh, keep in mind, don't touch this thing here ever. Don't touch it. And what we have to do to disable mouse acceleration is um, we have to turn enhance pointer precision off. Um, it's checked um, on default and you uncheck it. it and then um, the mouse acceleration will be turned off in the whole windows. You click on OK and you're done. So um, this will enable you to uh, train your muscle memory better. Uh, but remember, when you have played with mouse acceleration for a long time, uh, you have gotten used to it. And um, this is going to be one of the hardest settings um, that you can change uh, because you're so used to having mouse acceleration. So the next thing that we need to know um, to have consistent settings over several first-person shooter games, you want to have the same sensitivity in every first-person shooter game um, that you play because um, you will want to keep the muscle memory that you built over so long time and you want to try it um, you want to have it in every game that you play um, we need to know how far we have to move our mouse to perform a 360 degree turn um, and to figure that out there is two ways um, one way is you put your um, crosshair over a target and then you turn 360 degrees and you measure and you measure the distance that your mouse travels on the mouse pad with a ruler for example um, it's not um, that precise but it does work for some people if you do it if you do it right and do it several times what you want to avoid when you're using this technique is uh, going up and down with the mouse while you're doing this because that will increase um, or decrease the um, distance your mouse has to travel. The second um, thing that you could, can do and that's a lot easier um, is there is a new website out and I'm gonna show you that now. The website is called mouse-sensitivity.com and it's pretty new and um, its title says same aim different game and it works quite easily you have the input here you put in we're playing the game planet side 2 and you have to put in your current uh, dpi of your mouse for me that's 800 you can find out the dpi of your mouse if you open your mouse drivers. Have mouse drivers, open them and um, it will show you at which DPI your mouse is set at. Then you have to select the input method. That's the sensitivity. We know the in-game sensitivity that we are using in Planet Side 2. It's under the general settings. Um, I am playing at 0 0.13. And I want the unit to be centimeters. So you put in the game, you put in the uh, DPI of your mouse, you put in the in game sensitivity, and you set the unit that you uh, want to have. And you can see under calculations that um, a mouse sensitivity of 0 0.13 combined with the DPI of 800 gives me a 360 degree rotation of 25.5 centimeters. I'm playing at 25.5 centimeters 
and for example um, if I want to transfer that sensitivity to a new game like Battlefield 4 I just select Battlefield 4 under new game have the same DPI and it gives me the console command that I can put into the user options of Battlefield 4 um, the sensitivity um, it's gonna be 0 0.014 514 that gives me the same 360 degree rotation and you want to have the same um, distance in every game so it doesn't throw off your muscle memory when you switch between games and that's a very crucial part of keeping the muscle memory and uh, improving on it while playing different games too so now that you know how far it takes you to perform a 360 degree turn um, the next step is uh, finding the right mouse sensitivity for you and for the game and uh, you might question yourself um, am I playing at a high sensitivity or am I playing at a low sensitivity um, for example I would say that I'm playing at a medium sensitivity. I need 25 centimeters for a 360. Um, but I know lots of competitive players who come from Counter-Strike or come from the different games and um, some of them are even playing at... Uh, they need 35 centimeters for a 360 or even um, 45. Um, but they use the sensitivity since a long time and they're used to it. Um, it's not um, true that a low sensitivity is always better than a high sensitivity. It depends on the game and it depends on uh, your, your personal preferences. Um, for example, some, some arguments for a low sensitivity is that it separates um, movement and looking um, from recoil compensation and aiming. For example, with, with my mouse sensitivity, I use my whole arm, I move my whole arm to perform a 180 degree, degree turn, but I use only my wrist and my hand to aim at targets and to recoil compensate. So the movement and the aiming is separated when you, when you have a low sensitivity. Um, so basic um, guidelines that you can um, apply is a high sensitivity in Planet Side 2 or, or in almost every game is um, if you have a 360 degree turn that is under 15 centimeters or or is at 15 centimeters I consider that a high uh, sensitivity um, and a low sensitivity um, starts at 30 centimeters so I'm playing at 25 and for me that's medium I could make um, a low sensitivity work but it doesn't fit my playstyle so well. So uh, because I'm playing in close quarters a lot, I'm playing a medic um, in squad play, and I need to be able to turn around 180 degrees fairly quickly. And um, I found it that I need 25 centimeters is the perfect um, spot for me because I want to be able to aim my hip fire um, at medium ranges quite well and I want to be able to turn around quickly and I want to be able to re be really accurate at the farther ranges too so that's my preference so now to the point um, we want to find out what kind of game uh, Planet Side 2 is and what sensitivity it favors first thing is in Planetside there is co close quarters 
but the most degrees that you have to turn will be 180 degrees. And that's going to happen when you are in extreme close quarters, for example, you turn a corner and you ran past an enemy and have to turn around and shoot him in the back, or if he ran past you and you have to protect yourself. So you want to be able to um, do a 180 degree turn in one fluid movement um, without having to pick up the mouse, set it down on the mouse pad and turn on again. Um, there are players that make it work by several movements of the mouse. They, they pick it up, they set it down, they pick it up, they set it down. But uh, that's gonna be very hard to, um, to practice and very hard to get used to. The next thing for Planetside is you in 80% of the time or in 90% of the time you will know where the enemies will be coming from so you can pre-aim and um, you can do the finer adjustments while ADSing um, and Planet Side 2 is a game where you have to engage enemies at ranges that are very far away so you have to be precise at those ranges too you have to track the movement of the players, you have to recoil compensate and you have to be able to switch between them accurately depending on how they move and how um, which target is the most dangerous to you. So Planet Side 2 is a game that favors a low mouse sensitivity. Um, I would recommend you to, to try it out. What suits you like you have to do a 180 degree turn um, in one fluid motion if your mouse pad is big enough for the sensitivity that you chose and um, you want to still be able to be very precise at ranges where you can't even see the enemies anymore only the Dorito that pops up above their head We're coming to an end of the first tutorial um, that lays the groundwork where we can build on. And I know there are people out there who are used to a very, very high sensitivity, for example, two centimeters for a 360 degree turn. Um, I would really recommend you guys to change it up, to um, lower the sensitivity over maybe two weeks, just Set the sensitivity that you um, need, for example, 10 centimeters for a 360 degree turn. Get used to it a little bit and then even lower it more. Get to 15 centimeters, get to 20 centimeters over time. It's going to be difficult, but it's worth it. I can tell you that. The next tutorial is going to be about when you have found the perfect sensitivity for you and you have decided that you want to keep playing at this and uh, use it in, in every first sh pl person shooter game that are you g gonna be playing in the next years then um, y there are several ways where you can even further improve the sensitivity that you found and dial it down um, to a very very specific number that fits your playstyle and that fits your ability to aim and um, I'm gonna be covering that in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you did learn something about it. Um, keep in mind it will be difficult at first if you change up your settings, um, especially when you're going from a very high sensitivity to a low sensitivity and if you had a mouse acceleration turned on. But bear with it it will be worth it and uh, you will become an overall better f um, first person shooter player. Thank you guys and goodbye.